Hello, and Happy New Year 1989. I'd like to take a few minutes just to talk casually with you and bring you up to date on how things are going. Uh, as you may have heard, the Sharper Image had a record fourth quarter. That is, we've hit the highest sales in our company history, and we will have the highest earnings in our company's history for the fourth quarter. So that is terrific news, and primarily that's the result of the efforts that you and the stores have made to deal with the incredible rush of Christmas, the people, the products, and the returns. And I really appreciate it. It's a terrific accomplishment. I want to thank all of you, especially Vinnie Trinkwald in New York, whose store was number one, and he did a phenomenal job showing substantial comp store increases over the previous year and hitting all-time sales records for any store. You can imagine what it's like in a store that's only 1,900 selling feet to do approximately $1.3 million worth of business in a month. It's amazing. Let's talk about the coming year, if we can, for a moment. We're going to have lots of new products, more products than we've ever had before. You probably know Robert Bissell is now vice president of creative and merchandising. And he brings to the position six years of experience knowing what sells for the sharper image. One thing we all know sells is excitement, and the catalogs are getting more exciting. This started in December, and you'll see it every month as we try and put not only more products in the catalog, but more interesting products, both to get people to read the catalog and to come in the stores. So we'll have lots of unusual products and things that surprise people and hopefully encourage them to spend money with us. Comp store statistics are something you'll be hearing a lot about because there's nothing more important to our public image as a public company than the comp store statistic. You'll probably be sick of hearing about it eventually, but right now it's an opportunity for each store to distinguish itself to prove that it's really on top of things by showing they can make the comp store objective. And you'll be hearing more about this. But it's a really important statistic to us as a company and something that we want to learn to get on top of. Of course, as I visit stores, I'm always reminded, because I see it for myself, that there's no company in retailing that has created the excitement and the demand and the satisfaction than the Sharper Image has. The crowds of people in our stores, i just give an example. I, I came back from Maui recently where I saw the new Maui store, and that store has only been open three months. And you know, every evening in that shopping center, we had approximately 30 to 35 people in our store. And that's a store that's only 1,400 selling feet. The other stores in that center only had maybe one person or at most two in their stores, maybe zero. And yet we had 30 to 35 at all times. The store has done very well. Uh, actually, it was about our sixth best store in January, which is interesting. But the point I'm making is it's true of almost every center. We have the traffic. We have the crowds. We have the people. And this year, more than ever, we're going to have the products. We've always had the best run stores, the best looking stores, the cleanest stores, the best and most highly trained sales personnel, the best management. We've always had those things, and it's important that we keep them going. You, you know, it's sort of easy sometimes when you're ahead of everybody else to let up, to relax our efforts. But if I can encourage you, this year is a year more than ever to keep these efforts going and to make sure that when people walk in a sharper image store, they sense that feeling that we do have better looking stores. We do keep our displays better. We do have better dressed people. We do know more about our products. As we've opened up 17 stores this past year, we've taken management and salespeople and moved them around. And I think sometimes this has not helped the overall result. It may have helped the new store 
but it hasn't necessarily helped the store that the person left. So this year, I want to see us hone the quality to really polish that diamond in every store to make sure that all of our stores have experienced people that know what they're talking about. And that will help us a lot in our comp store statistic also. A bit of news, if I can pass it along, you know that the Zurich Switzerland store is opening in April. And also the fourth Japanese store is opening in April. This will bring us up to a total of 62 United States stores, um, one in Switzerland and four in Japan. We'll be opening up a few more stores in the United States this year, perhaps four or five more, in addition to enlarging the New York City 57th Street store and the Beverly Hills store. We're not opening as many stores this year as last year because I think this year we have a wonderful opportunity to increase our profits dramatically by improving the way we do everything, whether it's putting merchandise in the catalog, getting exciting products, ordering merchandise, distributing it to the stores, training our people, whatever it is, I know we can do it a lot better. This year our sales rose from last year's 160 million to approximately 190 million in the year we're just ending. And that's a, a good accomplishment. Next year, sales will probably rise to about 220, 230 million, even with just adding four or five stores. Part of that is based on you getting comp store statistical increases in every store. Part of it's the new stores. Part of it's at 17 stores that were new this year will have the benefit of being open a full year. But regardless, the point I'm making is the sales will continue to grow and we will continue to grow as a company, but if we will concentrate on every aspect of our business to run it better, we will see the profits increase. And that's an important thing to do right now for our company because we want to have a really healthy company and to see our stock, our stores, and our overall company prosper. Well, let me conclude by giving you my best wishes for this coming year. I hope I'll get to your store in person, but in the meantime, if you'll think about the things that I mentioned, I know you'll be very successful, and that helps all of us.